You gonna help me open parts today? Hmm? Alright, so apparently uh, all of the farmhands have showed up to help. Hey, you gotta finish opening the bag for me. Guess what? It is time to work on the hay vine, hay mower conditioner. You know, it works better if it's over here. I might have to go look for that in a little bit. So see how nice and clean that whole plate is now? Yeah, I cleaned that up real good. Um, I've got the new shims. Now these are a different type of shim. They're actually a new Holland shim, but the size is nearly identical to the John Deere shims. All right, so first off, we're going to check our front and rear guards. Uh, we've got our rear guard down there. I'm gonna make sure he is screwed on nice and tight and uh, that he is level to the bar or plate. I don't, what do you call that? The, the bottom lip? Um, I'm just gonna call it the bar for right now. So we're gonna have to make sure that he is cracked because he's a key player too. And I know that we were having issues with him initially. All right, in case any of you guys wondered what a brand spank new color bar looks like. Uh, normally they arrive with a little cap on the end here. This one didn't. Um, so that's a little strange to me. And once again, the welds are very questionable. Uh, I mean, you got bubbles, you got dots. That's not really something you want to see on a high energy uh, piece of equipment. So, yeah. I'm just pointing that out for reference points. Just me or does this look uh, not quite right so this is why I didn't do it this way to begin with because it just seems a little anyway so the directions say install both end guards first then attach it to the pitman arm with the pin and to work it down then you're supposed to rotate the drive line by hand until this whole thing rotates all the way to the far end then you go through and you install all of the hold downs together. <sighs> Alright, fingers crossed. Save you the boringness of me installing every single one of these things on. Yeah, it took a couple hours. I 
and it's tough being cramped up under here. I did have Aaron under here with me for a little bit and uh, it was just a little bit too dicey. Even though he's smaller than me, it still, I mean, he was inches from those blades and I'm like, yeah, you're a little too wiggly to be this close. <laughs> so unfortunately he didn't get the help, but uh, we do have one odd guy out. So the store was out of um, the correct part for down here. So I'm trying to make do with this one. I think it's a Massey Ferguson part. Ah, you can see it doesn't fit precisely. This is a regular hold down right here. This is not the non-clog. This is the non-clog kind, which has a top and a bottom. This is probably the kind that you guys are used to seeing, especially if you're working on a combine. And uh, these work good with tough crops and these work good with grass hay. I forgot to get, I was going to get an extra tall pull down for right here and I forgot. So I'm just going to hope for the best with this guy. Um, He might have to get bent up a little bit because his clearance probably isn't tight enough to the bottom as I'd like. And the rest of these, um, I'll come and show you with this camera because it does a nice job of close up. But you can kind of see where the clearance is. Uh, I did rotate it through. It's going through very smoothly, very cleanly. Um, but I think the blades need to be sitting on these guards right here. That's my understanding is it needs to be actually sitting on the guard and not just floating above it. So, I mean, overall the clearance is really good on most of these. Um, that one right there might be a little bit tight on the top one, but uh, I can go through and readjust it. I don't have the final hold downs up here until I get this adjusted, or sorry, underneath adjusted. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be working on now is just uh, fine tuning everything and adjusting it as the need be. Ooh, and then hopefully get out and get cutting. But unfortunately, I also have to throw some dinner in the crock pot somehow. <laughs> I have no idea what that's gonna be. Ugh, wish me luck. It's all <sighs> put back together. It's not lining up as good as I want it to. Um, I'm concerned that it might end up just tearing the grass. That gap is way too big and I don't have any way to adjust it. I have tried three times, ripped everything off, but every time I go to tighten it down, it just pops it back down again. And I'm just too exhausted to do any more. So I just gotta cut now, otherwise it's not gonna get done. Another $400 single bar. Stay tuned.